we ready? Yeah. Calling the meeting to order. Uh, I'll rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Thank you. In accordance with Governor Newsom's executive order, N2920, Remote public participation is allowed in the following ways. Planning Commission meetings are available to be viewed on YouTube at https colon slash slash tube. That's all you have to read as far as the... Just look for the, yes. the channel. Yeah. Public comment may be uh, submitted by telephone during the meeting prior to the close of public comment on an item by call in 530-872-5951 at the time indicated by the chair. Alternately, you may send an email with the subject line, planning um, commission meeting. Yeah, it's, um, that oh, that would have been before. Yep, yeah, that's past that. Okay, we'll disregard that. Um, so roll call. Roll call. Commissioner Gerard? Here. Commissioner Lassonde? Here. Commissioner Reynolds? Here. Commissioner or er, Vice Chair Costa? Here. And Chair Morris is absent. Okay, approval of the minutes is one A for the anyone have any comments or changes? Uh, is there a motion to approve? I move that we approve the minutes as written. I'll second. Motion by Lassonde, seconded by Gerard. Roll call vote. Commissioner Gerard? Aye. Commissioner Lassonde? Aye. Commissioner Reynolds? Aye. Chair Morris is absent. And Vice Chair Acosta? Aye. Thank you. Okay, communications. Uh, recent council actions? Oh, 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 well, that's so much better. Okay, Council adopted the resolution for the general plan amendment for the school district that the commission had provided a recommendation for and adopt or introduce the ordinance for the rezone. So they'll vote on the rezone next month. They also um, internally appointed Council Member Crowder as the mayor for 2021 and Council Member Jones as the vice mayor for 2021. They also chose to move forward with the sewer projects EIR for the option to connect to Chico's wastewater treatment plant, right? We only had funding for one study, so that's the option that we're moving forward with. And they'll be working on forming a committee between Chico's council, some members of our council, state water board members, as well as staff mm. to work that out. Will any of that come to this commission uh, on the sewer? Uh, no, so sir, None I of that, that all goes to them? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, they also uh, approve the job recruitment for administrative services director. So you may see that up on our website also as mm -hmm. our finance director, essentially. Mm -hmm. Also uh, approve the amendments as requested to the urgency ordinance regarding hazard trees to allow lay down yards for the contractors, just like we did for debris. Mm -hmm. They also thankfully uh, adopted the salary schedule and job descriptions for a new supervising code enforcement officer. So we'll start that recruitment in January, as well as putting into our budget the admin position also. And those are all the updates I have. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, staff comment? Done. Can I just go to public hearing? Um, yeah, I did not receive any public communication from anyone okay. via email or phone. So, yeah. Great. Um, okay, public hearing. 
Uh, item 5A, Blanton Site Plan Review Permit Application, PL 20-00275. Another piece of paper. So this parcel is a zone community commercial. It is a 0.13 acre parcel. You can see it's in a uh, large commercial district. Um, it was previously a hair salon. Um, it is improved with uh, an existing 882 square foot building um, and a storage shed just off to the uh, south there. Uh, the business will be uh, operated by the applicant and a, a part-time employee um, with proposed hours of 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, the project, uh, because it's involving an existing commercial space with little to no alterations, uh, actually falls under CEQA class, uh, section 15301, class one, um, and is exempt from CEQA. Uh, reviewing agencies have uh, given favorable reviews and therefore staff recommends approval of the site plan uh, review permit. I'd like to open the hearing to the public. Okay. Unless there's, does anybody have questions for Chris? Okay. Uh, uh, with the applicant? like to come to the podium and mm -hmm. give us a little hey. tell us about your project yeah <laughs> what, okay what you say tell us what you're what you're working on oh uh, what we're working on is putting uh just making it a car lot there so uh that first car lot back in town so the, uh a specific maker model or you know, uh, it's going to be, right now I have a lot of, uh, it's going to be, I don't know, it's going to be, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at a couple of different options. If I'm going to do just, just two trucks, I'm going to do trucks and cars, or if I'm going to do classics or all three. So I have a lot of classic trucks too, so okay. they're, they're upper end too. So. so where in this picture that we're looking at where they on the uh, right, you I can literally put like probably 12 cars on that pad mm -hmm. from the fence back. Okay. You know, and then I have parking up front. I have parking on both sides. As long as that side of that building, I can do, I can do uh, one parking. And for somebody coming in, I can do two more places to park alongside. And then we have like three in front of that shed too, for handicap handicap access and stuff into the building. So yeah, that's a requirement to have for ADA for you to yeah. have yeah. Uh, handicap spots. Yeah, it does. Designated. Yeah. Yep. So how many total cars are you on there? Have, have an idea on that particular lot? Like 12 to 15. 12 to so, 15? Yeah. Okay. I'm leasing the building, leasing all the property next door too, which is much larger than this, you know, so I can park reserve cars over there if I need to, so. Well, this approval is not for that lot. Okay, yeah. this approval is only for uh, the one you, you submitted, 6627. It's not for you to park or whatever on 6625. That's a different lot. That'll be a different uh, process and all that. So okay. yeah, no uh, the, the, what you're asking for is to mm. uh, use that as a used car lot. Yes. My concern, I, I, I you know, have thought through it, is I don't want to see what's happening on Skyway in one of the uh, repair facilities right there on Elliott and Skyway where there's cars parked there and parked next door, parked on the street, parked on the side and all that. I, I would not like to see that uh, on this particular road. And, and you've got plenty of room to do your vehicles and all that. So, yes, yes. So is that what you're thinking about? Is it to have them back there nicely, stat, you know, Oh, yes, lined yes, up? yes, for sure. Okay. For sure, uh, yes. And for 6625, are you planning on coming back to the commission for using that for something? Or, uh, not at this time. we gotta, we got to let the we gotta let the business grow a little bit. Okay. I mean, yeah. I, I shoot for the moon. I want that car lot. I don't want another car lot. You know what I mean? But and I we gotta, like that. We like yeah, that. Yeah, we yeah, want to yeah. see so, that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, when I do something, I'm committed 100%. Okay. So I All will right. make that work. Okay. So. When do you think you'll start the business? Uh, I'm thinking just the first of the year. So, okay. you okay. know, I'm thinking like January 1st, I'll open. So. No, will that be the total business at this location? Or will it have, is the building currently? Oh, no, that building is going to be nothing but a car lot. My uh, construction site's next door at another, at the, you know, at adjacent lot, so. Yeah. So the building will just office. Yes, yes, yep. 
Any repair work or maintenance or uh, detailing or any of that kind of thing? Not, not that I know of at this time, you know what I mean? So, you know, so I have, I have other places I can do that stuff okay. in, with mechanics. We're in the beginning of starting that business, so. Mm -hmm. okay. What's it going to be called? Uh, it's Integrity, what is it? Uh, I think it's Integrity. Or it's not integrity. There's a sign up there. Paradise Motors. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it's a long day. <laughs> it's a long yeah, week. We appreciate that. No. And then, will you have signage? Road? There is a sign right. I, That's what I was just looking at. Yeah. yeah there, there's the sign right here. This, we just put this because we moved next door. Mm -hmm. There's the sign right here. Yeah. D and D have those requirements. We had to meet all the abuse requirements too, so those are all met already. So. Oh, good. good. They've already issued their uh, temporary. I have a temporary license already for D and B. Okay. Because they're the last process. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Any other questions? Are those uh, two trees next to the slab there? Are those alive or are they? You know what? They're alive. Okay. They're alive. Okay. So. It, it, yeah, I've been watching them so because I hate to down if I don't have to. But yeah, yeah. I hate for them. So I do too. I do too. You know, with what I mean? the winds so, we've had and all that, so you yeah. know, an arborist might be in, in order. That's your call. But yeah, yeah, that'd be an expensive mistake if one of them dropped on one of your. You know, it is. But that's one of our heaviest foliage areas, probably in town. I think every every pine is still there and everything. Yeah. You know, so excellent. excellent. Yeah. So. Okay. One of the lucky ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bypass that area. Okay. And I'll and I'll make it look sharp for the community. You know what I mean? So I I'll, I'm gonna make yeah, sure. Yeah, you're succeed. right on the main road, and people will see that. That's yes. a, that's an important thing to do. Is it, is a quality look from the street. Yep, yep. It'll stay classy. It'll stay dressed up. Yeah. You know. So I'll make sure that. So I get a lot invested yeah. already. So. Good. Okay. Anything else? No questions. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, guys. Um, is there any? I did not receive any cards emails, or emails on this. No phone, no phone calls. It's your choice. We're going to vote on it now. Oh. But you, you, might, you, you might want to see the results. Would you like to close the public hearing? Close the public hearing. Thank you. I don't need to do that, right? Um, okay, commission discussion. total number of vehicles I just I didn't want it ended but beyond that everything else looks good to me mm -hmm. I mean so. I agree is there a... yeah yeah uh, motion I'll motion to approve approve second. as written I'll second it okay motion by Reynolds seconded by Lassonde roll call vote Commissioner Gerard uh, aye Commissioner Commissioner Reynolds aye Sir Morris is absent Process. Aye. Passes. You're good. All right. Thank you guys. Okay. Go get some cars on your proud. lot. <laughs> Make us proud. Get some cars on that lot. Get them sold. Well, see you guys. Right. Good Thank luck, you, Chris. There, sir. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on to 5B, and I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Um, pardon me? Yes. Tell me. Okay. Um, conditional use permit application PL 20 00285. Yes, our pod for Gus. Oh, sorry. Thank you. So, our pod for Garcy is uh, requesting approval of a conditional use permit uh, to expand a non conforming use. Um, the previous residence was legally non-conforming. It was built in 1944 and uh, obviously long before the town was incorporated. It was a 900 square foot home, had five accessory structures. Picture here. Um, and the total assessed value according to the county's assessor's office was 1,532 square feet. Um, and it, there's a, we're a little unclear. It looks like it's a 1.06 acre lot, but there is a map showing that it might be, what was it, 0.76 vice chair. And so, um, yeah. 
Depends. A lot of adjustment. Okay. Okay. The new survey have one point. So the new resident. So the new residence uh, that's proposed is 1,811 square feet, um, which is what prompts the CPU. Um, it will be a three-bedroom, two-bath, uh, with an upgraded septic uh, to match. Um, the neighborhood is largely commercial. Um, this is obviously at the uh, northern end of Skyway. Uh, and those three lots are kind of an island of commercial lots uh, surrounded by residential. In fact, if I kind of lump these all together, oops, I've lost it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hit back, yeah. There it is. Okay. There you, go. <clears throat> you can see how much falls into residential, leaving the store of uh, convenient storage um, oh. just to the okay. south. There. And this property is in that red area? That's correct. Okay. And all three of those had homes prior to the fire uh, or currently have homes on them. So. Yeah. So, um, this falls under uh, CEQA section 15302, class two, as it's a rebuild of an existing structure and categorically exempt um, staff. Uh, sorry, the reviewing agencies have uh, given favorable reviews for the project, and so staff does recommend approval of uh, this project. Now, is this lot the corner lot there, or is it underneath that eye that you're showing? Underneath the eye. Yeah, there's a fence along the front side. I know that. But, uh, so it only has access on Sky. It doesn't have access on that, that side street. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. So the two lots um, just north of that, that's commercial? That's correct. And, and is there anything on there now? That's what I... I'm uh, in the center lot, there is a home. Okay. Um, and I think there there used to be some kind of a glass business there, but okay. I think that part actually burned. Okay. So, what would it take to rezone that? The, the commercial was third, third partial there. Uh, the okay. uh, one owner owned two properties. One is one is the uh, house. Well, our father, we're going to call you up in just a moment, yeah. and then you can discuss that. So, sorry, though. Yeah, I guess it looks like it was the next one up that was the, the glass uh, shop. I think Lynn had the question, what would it take to make that uh, residential rather than commercial, or is that something that should be considered? Um, you know, I don't know that it's necessary. If they already have uh, a residential use and they're kind of grandfathered into that, then... Um, then it wouldn't, you know, uh, it wouldn't change the, the homogeny of the neighborhood. Uh, you could potentially rezone, um, and you know, that's a, a process like any of these others where they put an application and they, you know, the homeowner would want to have to, would want to do that. Okay. They would have to want to do that. But there wouldn't necessarily be a motivation to do that yeah. if they already have their home there. Gotcha. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'd like just to um, note for the record that Chair Morris arrived at 6.20 p.m. Dr. Pay. Would you like your gavel, <laughs> <laughs> Chair Morris? Hmm? Oh, you yeah, me keep going. Okay. Um, okay. Any questions for Chris? Yeah. Thanks, Chris. On five feet. Yeah. I'll open the public hearing. And the applicant is welcome to come to the podium to talk about your project. Hi. Hi. Hey. So, tell us about your project. What do you want to do? Oh, rebuild my home. Rebuild your home. Yes. And that was my business there as well. primary resident before the fire. So okay. mm -hmm. now I still rebuild two homes in paradise. One where I live, my son, to be the, him have kind of finance, you know, 
So the other house I built in the Skyway, 8693 Skyway, that's my daughter's house. So we're still working. So this will be the third project I have. Which one will be my house <laughs> and my dogs. When do you plan on starting building on that lot? Oh, I already start. I ask, I pay for the permit for extend my septic system. Mm -hmm. And I got the plans. All I need, whatever I, I was trying to put the plan in. So when I got there, they oh, wait a minute, you was have commercial and mm -hmm. to come out. Uh, yeah. They need a uh, use permit. I uh, was ready everything, you know, PID, everything I paid. Mm -hmm. I have pg and &E temporary power already in the property. I have mm -hmm. my RV there. And mm -hmm. also I have a garage, 30 by 40 garage built, or not garage, it's like a carport. Mm -hmm. right? Built in 2017, survived the fire. Mm -hmm. That's that metal structure on the north side of your lot? Yes, sir. Okay. That's a workshop or a garage? Or? Well, it was a carport, carport? for my okay. RV, RV. Okay. and boat. When the fire, my boat was there and uh, trailer I was there. Okay. So then so. this would be purely residential for you? Excuse me? No business, just residential. I was planning to do heating and air and uh, you know, I, I lost a lot of money. I was have two rentals before the fire. I have five properties in paradise. So, mm -hmm. or right, they rebuilt two. The, um, two property, 2017, I buy it right before the fire, was no insurance. Mm -hmm. So, well, I burned down, like uh -huh. everybody. <laughs> yeah, like everybody. So, build a, uh, a single family residence. So you mentioned commercial on the lot. Are you planning on having trucks and, and, and equipment on the lot in addition to being living on the lot or is that going someplace else? No, no, because I am 62. So keep going. <laughs> no, <laughs> right before the fire, I was go get my sea licenses for uh -huh. heating and air. So uh, I just gave up now. Oh, you gave up now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I planning to rebuild forever. And... Okay. You know the reason why you're here, right? It's because you want a bigger house than what was on there. It's it's commercial. Um, yeah, you want to um, put residence, but th the town just wanted to make sure that anybody that went bigger than their original house before the fire mm -hmm. came here to make sure, because some places in the middle of town they prefer it to be commercial, but in your case. You're on the north end of town, so, but you still had to go through this request process, and I know it's slowing you down a little bit. I just want to explain why you're here is because of the yeah, larger yeah, yeah. Which I understand. Yeah. I... So, yeah, but you're still planning on making it residence, and there's houses around you and all that, right? Sure. Yeah. That's my plan. Good. Okay. Any further questions? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any cards, phone calls? There were no emails received or phone calls for this agenda item. Um, I'll close a public hearing and a commission discussion. This. I'm good. Do I? Okay. Uh, motion. Second. Motion by Gerard, seconded by Morris. All right. Um, roll call vote. Vice Chair. Aye. Commissioner Gerard. Aye. Commissioner Lasson. Aye. Commissioner. Aye. And Chair Morris. Aye. Thank you. Motion passes. Right. You're approved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, is there any yeah. other business? I'm going to do my standard that uh, this application there is a seven day appeal on, period on it. So that means for you, our pod, that you couldn't actually pull any building or septic permits until that seven day appeal period's over.
Ready to go. Yep. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Been a tough year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, committee activities. No, I'm taking it. Uh, okay. Uh, commission, uh, uh, commission members. Oh, the identification of future agenda. So as of today, I'm not aware of any discretionary entitlements that are slated for January's hearing. So we don't have, nope, we don't, okay. So even if somebody applied, you know, this week or even next week, I don't know that it's physically possible to have the project reviewed in enough context to be able to notice it to the paper when we're required. So my guess is for now, we'll probably end up asking for January's meeting to be canceled and reconvene in February. We've certainly had discussions with potential businesses in need of discretionary entitlements we're just not there yet, and I can totally understand with the holidays. Okay. So we might see some more action uh, coming up in January. But I did want to let the commissioners know, this isn't um, immediate, but we are releasing our RFP element on Friday on our website, and it'll give 30 days for consultants to uh, send in their bid proposals for that with the hope that we can identify um, a contract firm to do that housing element and have it ratified by the council at the February meeting and get started during 21 for the housing element. And that is something that eventually makes its way to the planning commission. So when, just you, a, when you say housing element, I so, guess Oh, I, yes, that is one of the elements or one of the chapters of the general plan. Okay. So it's the only one that requires us. Oh, We're gotcha. on an eight year cycle. So ours expires in summer of 2022. So this will get us to a point to get to the state submittal level mm -hmm. by early 2022. Gotcha. And then next year, we're very hopeful to go ahead and push out the RFP for the whole general plan update for the rest of the elements oh, right. to get started. Yeah. And that's like a three to four year yeah. project. Big project. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. One hey. other question, if I could. Yes, sir. The prior item was committee activities, and since I've been here, I've not been assigned to any committees, and I've not heard anybody else being assigned. Are there committees that we're supposed to be assigned to? I don't uh, think that any of the committees right now are active. Okay, so mm -mm. there's nothing for us to worry about committee-wise that, that we should be attending or no. future attendings or something like that? Not yet. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. We're just still rebuilding. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to be late. <laughs> oh, goodness, I believe there used to be one... Oh, there was a landscape com appeals committee. There were a lot of appeals kind of boards because we do landscape at an administrative level. Um, same with, there used to be one about trees. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You think it's just landscape appeals at this point? Which I can't, in my time frame, I can't remember the last time one was appealed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then I don't know if you guys have seen any construction out or had any questions about any particular projects. I just have one about what sentiment about the website update. Oh, for the town. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that just like an online version of what they would do in person? How is that structured? Calling you guys? Help so right now, what we've, well, what we've done recently is the assistant to the town manager, who's really our business advocate, and myself, we've been meeting one-on-one -on -one or virtually with prospective new business owners, because it is a pretty daunting task, all of the different divisions, all of the different applications mm -hmm. that are required, so that, you know, the idea being meet with us, I have a very good understanding of all the permitting processes to go through, and wealth of knowledge about programs or funding that's out there to help get them off the ground so we've been doing that but trying to also build it into our website as such also but mm -hmm. I felt that it's been really beneficial so far to the folks that we've been working with oh sorry uh, there was a restaurant mentioned is that something it would not so this I think that's a, a little bit of an overstatement. It would fall more in the bakery. 
<laughs> a definition. A um, yeah. Donuts. And Donut. so donuts. Donut shop? <laughs> So anything that is restaurant or food sales, which yeah. covers bakeries and like delicatessens, uh -huh. as long as they're in a community commercial zone, it's a permitted use. Okay. So all we would look at is if they put new signage, did a new facade, but otherwise it's mainly just building fire and septic. Got it. Gotcha. Next. The short answer, no, we won't see it. <laughs> Anything else? Oh dear. Is that me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it looks like we're wrapping up. Anything else? Other